didn't try to lift a lot of thigh in there, did he? It's really pretty much foot to ankle action. We're going to do an Uchimata from here, and it's going to be a real modified Uchimata, but boy, it's, it's really good ratio of success. It's, it's almost like an ankle style of Uchimata. So you'll see what I mean in a moment. So the guy's bent over, okay? What Derek wants to do, he's going to do a right Uchimata. So he's, he's sugar footing, he's leaving the other, so he's got his right foot, he's leaving the other. And you want to try to get as much body space in as close as you can. You don't want a lot of body space initially out. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But right now, I'd like it if you could get a little closer. There we go. And so there's the grip situation. His right hand is high up here on the back. You may even have to have low by the belt. But you've got a good, strong back grip with your right hand. Okay? With your left hand, you've got really pretty much between the elbow and sleeve. Depends on what he'll give you. If he, if he doesn't give you much, you might have to go really low on the sleeve. But he's got basically a high grip and a low grip. Okay? Here's his... Position, starting position is essential here. He's leading with that foot. Because what Derek's going to do, he's going to spin around and he's going to hit Uchimata. When he does, it's easy. Real quick here, I'll get out of your way here. Come on Now watch, when he does that, just keep, keep, see that really low down there? Right about the ankle area, inside the ankle area. I'll get out of his way. Go ahead. See how you lift it, and it almost splits him apart, doesn't it? That's what it's supposed to be doing, okay? So, he's got him down there, so he leaves that, he spins, and there's the Uchimata, okay? One more time, can you see how he's coming? He hit very low. He didn't try to lift a lot of thigh in there, did he? It's really pretty much foot to ankle action. Can you come in and just show how you do foot to ankle action? So watch when he does that, see this? Yeah, just don't, don't throw, just, just let him. See how he does that when he lifts, okay? And he's pointing that toe, and he's, that's where you got it. That's the sweet spot right there, okay? Right. Eric had a good thought on this, because sometimes, if he's all bent over, and he wanted to make space, okay? A lot, a lot of guys do that. So he may not let him get an initial inside foot here. He may say, no, 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 I'm backing out of that one, okay? And that's a very good comment that, that happens. In that case, what Derek's going to do here, he's just going to kind of shuffle in. He's just going to kind of step in where he gets his foot in position. A quick shuffle like this and a quick spin. Okay, I'll let him do that right now. Now watch how he kind of shuffles in. See that? It's a, the best way to call it is a shuffle. You know, it's just a shuffle type step, like that. See that? Okay, so shuffle in. And that, that's a real world situation. Okay, so if you start do the base way, okay, so we'll start with this one where you got an inside foot, not that one, right? Okay, then the next one, once you get good at that, let's go to the shuffle style where you draw a space, you have to shuffle it. Make sense? Or hit low on the inside of his ankle. If you can hit higher, fine, but if you hit low, that's a lot of times that's all you'll be able to get, and it really just opens them up and it just goes flying.